uninstall the ATR. The ATR is typically installed in the IR. To uninstall the ATR, turn the thumb screw counterclockwise. Grab the ATR from the platform and carefully pull out the ATR from the cell chamber. Use an Allen key to loosen the two screws that secured the base to the instrument. Be careful not to touch the window on the left side of the cell. Pull out the base plate from the cell chamber. Install the plate holder. Install the plate holder mount into the sample chamber. There are sets of holes for the mount pegs. Insert the plastic plate holder into the mount. Install the ATR. Insert the base plate into the sample chamber. There are pegs in the sample chamber that align with the holes on the base plate. Use an Allen key to secure the base plate to the instrument with screws. Be careful not to touch the window on the left side of the cell. Insert the ATR into the sample chamber. You will need to compress the covers on each side of the ATR. There are pegs that align with two holes on the front of the ATR. Press down and tighten the thumb screw on the front of the ATR. Ensure the anvil does not come in contact with the sample window on the platform. The anvil could damage the window. The ATR could also look like this model and functions in the same way. Turning on the instrument. Flip the power switch on the top left back corner of the instrument. The switch light will turn on. On the computer, press the power button located in the middle of the tower. Log into the computer. The username and password are found in the instrument SOP. Wait for the computer to start up. IR measurement. Spectra measurement. Click on the Spectra Manager icon. Click on Spectra measurement. Expand the Spectra measurement window if needed. Click on measure and then on parameters. In the standard tab, set scan times for the number of scans, set resolution, or sample set how to collect the sample data, leave background set to single. Click on the interferometer tab. Set gain, scan speed, and filter to auto. Click on the information tab. Input the sample information. Click on the FFT slash timer tab. Appetization function should be set to cosine. Click on the summary tab. Click on OK to set the parameters. Before performing the background me measurement, ensure there is no sample in the sample chamber. If using the ATR, there should be no sample on the sample window. And the anvil should be retracted away from the sample window. If using the plate holder, there should be no salt plate on the holder. Click on the background button and wait for the background measurement to finish. Place sample in the sample chamber. If using the ATR, start by lifting the anvil arm. Remember, the ATR may look different but functions the same. Place enough sample to completely cover the sample window. Close the anvil arm. Press the locking lug and turn it clockwise to lock the anvil arm. Turn the anvil knob clockwise until the knob is finger tight. Do not over tighten. If using the plate holder, place the salt plate on the sample holder. Ensure the sample side of the plate is facing towards the right of the sample chamber. Click on the sample button and wait for the measurement to finish. Spectra analysis. Spectra analysis should be automatically open after the first measurement. Subsequent measurement data will automatically be sent to spectra analysis. Expand the window if needed. Click on processing, then peak processing, and then on peak find. For peak, set from where to detect peaks. Set the desired noise level. Click on execute. Expand the window if needed. A list of peaks will be available on the top of the window. To save the files a PDF, click on print, when the Save As window opens, find the desired folder, name the file, and click on Save. When finished, click on OK. Click on File, and then on Save As. When the Save As window opens, find the desired folder, name the file, and click on Save. Cleaning the ATR. Turn the anvil knob counterclockwise. Press the locking lug and turn it counterclockwise to release the anvil arm. Lift the anvil arm. Use a soft brush to wipe off the sample from the sample window and anvil. Moisten a chem wipe with acetone. Wipe off the sample window and anvil. Do not soak the sample window. Allow to air dry. Shut down. Close all the software. Shut down the computer. 
flip off the power switch on the top left back corner of the instrument, the switch light will turn off. The instrument SOP should be located next to the instrument. If assistance is needed, please look in the instrument SOP for the contact information of the scientific instrument specialist.